What's going on YouTube? It's the Dark Lord Destro. I just want to make a quick video on how to take roster files from your laptop that you downloaded onto your flash drive, then to the Xbox, save them as a season, and then using that season save trick to have multiple teams saved on your on your hard drive so that you don't have to keep going back and forth between the Xbox and the laptop. Okay? So here we go. Before you do anything else, you want to start off by turning the auto save off. So if you haven't done it already, follow these steps. Okay? Go to options. Go to load save. Go to auto save. Make sure it's auto save is turned off. Okay? Then from that point, you want to go to save settings. Select your hard drive. Of course, you override your settings. Yes. Okay, good. From that point now, flick your right analog stick. You want to go over to options. The next thing you want to do is go to options. You want to go to load save. You want to go to delete. Select your hard drive. Okay. Now you want to scroll all the way down to the very end. Okay. If you scroll all the way down to the very end, if you see a file called roster, you need to, de you need to delete it. Okay. So make sure if you see a roster file, it's called roster, delete it. All right. The reason why is because you do not ever want to have a roster file on your hard drive whatsoever at all okay and I'll explain to you a little bit more in detail thoroughly in a few minutes okay once you've done that then go back to your main screen okay now when you're transferring uh, files back and forth doesn't matter what kind of roster you have in your flash drive just make sure you have a roster file on your flash drive so if you don't so make sure you go to options, load save, save roster, go to USB uh, flash drive, save it on there. Okay, once that's done, take your flash drive out of your Xbox and take it to your computer. Okay, now what I would do, is if you, before you do anything else I want to show you, is that you want to bring up your window, and you want to look for your flash drive. So bring your flash drive up. Okay, let me maximize this for you so you can see. Now, this is your flash drive. Now, you'll see the very first folder, the only folder there, says content. You want to double-click it. The very first file, it should say all zeros. It might say something else. Either way, regardless, you want to double-click it. Again. Again. And you want to keep double-clicking the, the top folder until you find this roster.ros file. Okay? That's where your roster.ros file is on your, on your uh, flash drive. Now, I'll slide this over for one bit. Now, let's load up where you downloaded your file. So whatever, so wherever you downloaded your rosters from, you want to do it here, okay? In this case, I'm about to do the two, 1996 Panthers. Okay, as you can see, I have my folder, I have my roster.rise here. Okay, now before you do anything else, well, bring this back, sorry. Before you do anything else, you need to load up King Hivo's editor, the newer version, either 1.5 or 1.6, doesn't matter. And you want to load up the file you just downloaded. In this case, I'm about to, um, I'm about to open up the file, Rise for the 96 Panthers. Okay. Alrighty. Now, before you go any further, this is the uh, Panthers, by the way. 
So I haven't changed. I haven't changed. It's one of my older teams I made back in the day. So I haven't changed their name officially to the Panthers. But that's not important right now. So as you can see, that gray, I'm sorry, that blue disc is not highlighted. I can't save it or rehash or resign it. So what I do is take one of the take one of the players here, and then just do a quick edit. Okay, so he's got a tight one face mask. Just do tight one again. Hit accept. I apologize. I hear a lawnmower doing maintenance around the apartment building, so that's what you hear. So I'll try to speak loud. Well, anyhow, and now I'm making my dogs bark. I apologize. Well, anyhow, see right here where it says the, the disc, it has highlighted because I made an edit. Now you want to save it. Now, what I've done there, I rehashed and resigned it. There's no longer a need to have Horizon because Havo has now implemented the Horizon type of the rehashing, resigning uh, technique inside this editor. Okay? Now rehab now that we've rehashed and resigned it, let's close this out. Now we go back to where we were originally, where the file is located. Now the editor is programmed to make a backup file every time it's saved. This is not important right now. The main thing is this folder right here, the roster.ros file. Okay, now I'm about to transfer this file from my computer onto the flash drive. Here we go. Of course, the destination already has a file named roster.rise. What I want to do, and what you want to do, is replace that file. Replace the new file over the old file. As you can see, the date has changed. You can tell that there's a new roster.rise file inside your flash drive. Now, you want to take your flash drive out. And put it back inside the Xbox. Okay, now let's go to options, then go to load save, load, you want to select your flash drive, hit quick game, and there you go, those are your um, Panthers. Now I'm going to save this file onto the hard drive, now remember, you can never have a roster file on your hard drive at any time whatsoever. That's the trick that people use online. So, you go to Season. Go to New. Okay. Then you want to come over. Flick your stick to go bring up this menu. Then you want to save. Save again. Save on your hard drive. And just scroll all the way down until you find Create New, select that. Okay, in this case, 1996 Panthers. Let's start. Now we're back to square one. So that's how you save a roster onto the hard drive. You save it as a season, and then every time you go into a, a season, you load up a team that you have, then you quit out of that season, and that's how you're able to save multiple or numerous amount of teams on your flash drive. Okay. So let's say, for example, you know you've got a you have a you have a, a bunch of teams on your hard drive already so let's say you've already done this process you know a few times and so now you want to load up a new team so right now we have the Panthers loaded up so now I want to load up a different team so now you go to season load hard drive and I want to play the 1953 Browns so let's select those let's select them Okay, it goes to this screen. Just flick the right analog stick, go to quit, yes, boom, now I have the Browns. 
Okay? Let's do it again. Season. Load. Hard drive. 63 charges. Coming to the screen. Flip the right analog stick. Quit. Yes. Look. I have the teams. Again, one last time. Season. Load. Hard drive. Ninety five Cardinals or seventy five Cardinals. Okay. Just like that. So that's how you do it. So that's the loophole that someone discovered many years ago to where now you don't have to keep going back and forth having teams have, to have teams saved on your computer and having to drag each and every one of them to the Xbox. Now you save each roster as a season. You save it, you save each team on the hard drive as a season. And so that's why it's very important to never have a flash, I'm sorry, never have a roster file on your hard drive. And to be safe, what I do is uh, when I load up a team, once I load up the team from the flash drive and it loads up, I immediately take the flash drive out and then I save it as a season to where when I back out of that season, it's just a double, it's just a, a safety thing for me to where it doesn't override anything, doesn't load anything else up. It loads exactly what I wanted. The team that I want in the season mode to load up, I want it to be on my regular squad. And so that is how you do the season save trick. Any questions, comments, leave them in the post. Let's post them in the, in the chat log. Talk to you later. Peace.